Welcome back to another video. My name is Doing The King. I don't know, it's another name change, but here, bear with me. It's kind of hard. This is horrid, okay? This is horrid. Starting this whole process of a YouTube channel is horrid, all right? It may look easy on camera, you know, do a little eight minute video, do a little 10 minute video, do a little 15 minute video, but the actual real process of like making videos and shooting videos is horrid. Not only that, when you start a YouTube channel, you're supposed to think about branding. So I wanted the same name on Instagram. I wanted the same name on TikTok because I'm starting on my TikTok. And I wanted the same name on Twitter. Now, I end up getting doing the king on basically every platform except for Twitter. This username, I don't know who he is. He took the name in 20, 2009, you know, I'm guessing, I don't know. The last time I saw the account, it was active in 2009. He basically took the name and he has no followers. He has no posts. He's not doing anything with it. So in 2021, it's kind of hard to come up with a name because everything to think about is taken by somebody and sometimes these people are not even using the name they're just sitting on the name and not using it but I'm gonna move forward with Dwayne the King so this is my new name Dwayne the King all right I love this name this is gonna be my name we're gonna work it out and yeah we gonna have like Dwayne the King t-shirts and I'm playing I'm, I'm, I might have those things I'm not sure but hey anyway hey guys my name is doing the king i'm so happy to have you guys here you know if you like my content don't forget you can subscribe you can like and you could um share my video i look at my analytics and it's just crazy to me that half of you guys that watch my video well not half like 40 percent, i would say so 40 percent of you guys that watch my video you guys watch it but you guys don't subscribe i mean you already come in here to watch my videos why not subscribe? I'm just saying. Do it! Just okay. Okay, Do okay, it! okay. I subscribe. I subscribe. Damn. Calm down. But like he said, just do it, yo. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment down below. I want to see some comment. You guys be watching my videos and not commenting. Comment down below. You know what, it really helps the video if you comment. It helps the algorithm. I want this channel to be picked up by YouTube. So comment down below. So what time is it? Hey, 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 hey. It's story time, it's story time, it's story time, it's story time, what, what? <laughs> Today I want to talk about me getting hired at this job and within two weeks I almost got shot. Yeah, I know. It got real. So I'm not going to say the company name because being around the company atmosphere, they like to sue. So you ain't going to sue my black <laughs> I'm just going to tell my story. The company got started from a lawsuit. From what I heard from my past co-workers, I said past because thank God I don't work there anymore. But basically, the owner of the company got tapped by an MTA bus. And when I say tapped, I mean... There was no significant damage. So the bus basically brushed up against them and yeah, that led to a lawsuit that ended up starting a business. So what did I learn from that scenario? Yo, sue the government, sue everybody. I mean, don't be like, oh no, 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 it's okay. It was a mistake. No, sue everybody That's because you could idea. get some coin. Now, prior to working at this job, I ended up leaving another job because there was this Latino guy and he was very racist towards the black workers that's working around him. He was very accommodating and very nice to the Asian people, to the Indian people. When I say Indian, I don't mean like indigenous um, Native Americans. I mean Indian descent from India and also his Latino people. But when it came to the black people, he was just so like rude and racist. But the thing is, nobody thinks that he was racist because he's Latino. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where somebody's obviously racist, but the thing is, because they're a minority, people don't think that they could be racist. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from the miracle world of editing. Yeah, I know. Like I said, YouTube is horrid. So throughout this video, you're gonna see this yellow shirt pop up because I see some scenes I wanna film over, but I don't wanna film the whole thing over. So one example of this guy being racist, there is a Spanish guy and he will come to work late on a consistent basis. If there was a black employee, he would have got fired by now. So anyway, even though the guy come late, he still get paid his eight hours. 
How did he get paid for eight hours? The manager clocked him in and gave him his eight hours pay. Yeah, I know, that sounds really foul. And prior to that job, I was stuck at a furniture company with a lot of negative coworkers. These coworkers were so negative, you didn't have to do anything to them. Basically, you just have to exist and they will find some drama to draw you in to ruin your day. But anyway, I'm glad I got away from that situation. I'm glad I got away from the other situation. And then I found myself in this situation. I'm like, God damn, I need to apply for better jobs. <laughs> the company that I'm going to talk about is a tourist sightseeing company. What they do is if you're a customer, you pay for a ticket, you get on a bus and they drive around customers so they can sightsee New York City. So if there's any problem at the bus stop or in the actual bus, you will handle it. It's your job to make sure the bus leave on time. You will also answer any question that needs to be answered and give direction to where they have to go. You're just basically a flight attendant with reduced pay and a lot of stress. <laughs> They'll also give you a test, but the test is just bullshit. They use the test to fire you for probable cause and say, oh, you didn't pass the test, so you know we didn't hire you. Because when I asked around about the test, no one knows about the test. Everyone was like, there's a test? There's a test? There's a test? I would ask various coworkers that worked there for years. They're like, there's no test. What are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, there's actually a test. But there was no test. They basically used that to cement their case in probable cause of firing your ass. So my manager was very weird. Every single time I asked him for a schedule, he didn't give me a schedule. He said to me, meet me here, meet me there. And I look at him like, I need an actual schedule, man. I need some paper trail. Like, what are you talking about? I need an email. I need uh, a text message. I need something. You're like, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Then it says something in his Jewish language, like oy vey and some other stuff that I don't really know about. But mama did the race no fool because guess what? Every single time when he would call me on the phone and tell me where to go, I text it to myself, I text it to my friends, and I text it to my family. Everything that this company did, they covered their ass. They make sure that they're well educated in the legal system and use it to their advantages versus you coming in as a normal person not knowing nothing about the legal system. So we have various trainers at each bus stop location. So the trainer that I had, I don't remember his name. Let's call him Carlos. So anyway, Carlos was this guy that did a smile a lot, that put up a front. You know those guys that try to act cool, try to act like they're a badass, but in reality they're not. You can just whip their ass. But you let them think that you're in control. You let them think that, you know, okay, they could get one over on you because you just wanted your day to go by. But like, if something happened, you know, could whip their ass, all right? So anyway, so you have all these ticket sculptors around the area of Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, Lower Manhattan, everywhere. They each have their spot. It's just like prostitutes. They each have their corner. So when you get on a different corner, <laughs> They're just like prostitutes. So they each have their corner. So if another prostitute, I mean, ticket sculptor went on a someone else corner, it would be a problem. Why are you running? Why are you running? These people are from war ridden countries. So they know what's up. This is how they make their bread and butter. This is how they feed themselves. Because I don't know if some of them are even legal. So anyway. This prostitute, I mean, this um, ticket sculptor went on another corner that another ticket sculptor was on and they got into a, an altercation. So Carlos was watching it and I was watching. I was like, oh snap, they're about to fight. Now, Carlos' face looked scared as It really did. And I was like looking at him, I'm like, yo, why are you that scared? And he's like, yo, you gotta prepare for anything. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? So all of a sudden, I hear gunshots and it was literally close to me glass the glass shattered everything people were screaming i was running everybody was running and i'm like yo damn it i should have like had a, that chipotle i'm about to die i'm about to die hungry and i could have had that chipotle and it was so crazy and i was like did rihanna warn me about this because early on on that day i was listening to that song rum pa pa pam rum pa pa pam rum pa pa pam this is one man done no i am a criminal 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 oh lord of mercy no i am a criminal man down to the Judge, please give me minimal. Don't, yo, 
It was so crazy. So when they were firing shots at each other, the shot missed me, hit this white lady in the leg, and she was on the floor bleeding. There were ambulance, there were detectives, there were people from everywhere just coming around. So after the whole thing was said and done, she had a huge crowd around her, and she was saying, So I looked at her and I felt so bad, but then my friend was like, yo, what's going on? I need to know. And I was like, oh my God, look at these like imbeciles, these hooligans, how dare they put this on social media? I was like, you guys need to be ashamed of yourself. Each and every one of you, each and every one of you, how dare you put this on social media? You know, like that, okay. Stop putting on social media, God damn it! Stop it! You guys are just... Stop putting... Stop putting on social media, God damn it! This lady just got shot, what the hell is wrong with you guys? I mean, come on, who does this? Damn! After all was said and done, I was like, this job is not for me. The manager, how he's acting, he is just basically treating me like a ticket sculptor, as if I was from a war-ridden country, which I'm not. I have an education, I have family, I, I got options, man. This is not my only option, like, come on, man, you're out of pocket. So you know what I did? I take my and got another job. So he basically called me up, and he was like, um, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to let you let you go. Okay, I'm cool with that. It's like, why are you guys letting me go? He's like, oh yeah, you was a minute late. I was a minute late. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I really could not care less. Just give him the money that you owe me and everything will, will be fine. So then he replied, when did you work? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> when did I work? Yo, thank God I was suspicious about this job. I jotted down every hour that I worked. I texted it to my friends, I texted it to my family. I was able to get all of my hours. So I sent him the hours and he sent me a check and the check wasn't even matching the hours that I sent him. But in the end, I just let it go. I personally did not want to have nothing to do with this company. I don't care if they owe me money. I just wanted to be free from them. I don't want it to be one of their workers that they treat horribly, enslave them to go out and just work as dogs and just treat them like shit. That, that was not me, that's not my future. I know where my future lies and that's not it. Also, I had another job set up, so I was not hurting. I was like, thank you. <laughs> This company, they know the law. They know the law down to a T. They cover their ass like crazy. Also, they got money. They got lawyers up to here. They got money up to here. So it wouldn't be wise to just like go against them. Just take the L and just move on with your life. What I want you to get away from this story time is that every time you started a job, make sure there's paper trail. Make sure they don't have no probable cause to fire your and make sure you have a second job just in case that one doesn't work out if you start a new job you know what i mean because don't look out for these companies look out for yourself because in the end these companies are looking out for themselves so look out for you don't worry about like oh i can't look for another job because they need me no they don't need you they, they got a million other persons that they could abuse don't let them abuse you i, I used to work at a furniture store in brooklyn and they abused the hell out of me, all right? So look out for yourself. No more uno, yourself, all right? That's what I want you to get from this scenario. So I wanna hear from you, the viewer. What do you think? Should I pursue them in legal battle or should I just cut my losses and just move on with my life? Me personally, that's what I did. But I wanna hear from you. What do you think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button. This is Dwayne the King and I'll see you in another video. Have a good one.